tell you that 100% of our kids graduate. If they stay here through high school, they graduate either high school or they graduate at least with an equivalent. The Boys Ranch is a long-term residential program. Our average day of child coming in the program right now is right at a year. Uh, we have some children that come in that stay shorter than that, but the majority of them stay at least a year, and we have some that have been here for two, three, four years. The four pillars that kind of act as our guardrails and kind of keep us on course are work, study, play, and pray. The work is every child that comes into the program gets a job, and we have about a dozen campus jobs around our campus that uh, teach them different skill sets, everything from janitorial services to being able to put up a brick wall. Uh, we pay them a little bit of money, not to get them rich or anything, but just so that they can learn money management. They have to interview, they have to do an application. They can get hired, they get fired, they get promoted, they get demoted, but they have jobs because we want to teach good citizenship. We want to teach the value of a dollar. Our study pillar is, of course, our educational program. We have our own school on campus. Every kid that comes in the program, we have an educational plan for them. We, we work hard, but we also play hard. We've done everything from going whitewater rafting in Tennessee to snow skiing in North Carolina, to the Daytona 500, to rodeos, you just name it. Our prey pillar, of course, is our spiritual pillar. We have our own chaplain on campus, uh, and we participate in chapel services every week. Uh, we don't force anything down anybody's throat, but we do ask them to participate. The beauty of this was that when this program first started, uh, you know, it started on a wing and a prayer. I mean, it started with a $5,000 gift from the Florida Sheriff's Association. And, and even in 1957, 5,000 was a lot of money, but it wasn't enough to create a program like this. The community support is, is, is the most important thing that we, that, that we have. If it was not for our community support, if it was not for our statewide donors, and now we have donors in other states as well that have lived in Florida and saw uh, what the youth ranches was accomplishing with children. But the, the majority of our donors are Florida. And, uh, and within our community, if we didn't have those donations, we simply would not exist. I mean, we just wouldn't exist. And we have the Sheriff Ranchers Enterprises, which composes of our thrift stores. We're able to pick up free all over the state of Florida. There's no charge for us to come to your home and get the items that you don't need anymore. Those simple items are turned into cash. And don't ever think that a small donation is not appreciated. You can find our low store locations on our website. It's www.sre4kids.org. You can also link to it from our Youth Ranches webpage, which is youthranches.org. We realized that through time, uh, we needed to do something more than just boys because we wanted to keep brothers and sisters together. So our leadership got together and said, uh, we need to take girls in this program as well. And so not long ago, we started accepting girls and we got brothers and sisters living together and girls in our program now and it's been very successful. There is a primary set of cottage parents and a transition set of cottage parents. Our primary cottage parents work 14 days on and seven days off. Uh, but each house is set up with uh, basically an activity room, a uh, living room, a dining room. We always sit down together uh, as a family and eat the meal, talk about the day, have that traditional time that uh, most families do. And, can just sit down and talk about the, the successes and the frustrations of the day. We have five bedrooms, two beds in each room. They need someone to be in their corner all the time, not say, well, you know, you did something today and we're just gonna push you to the side. And that's what they need. They need, they need somebody who's grounded and in their corner, like that's gonna stay, so. Uh, every child is different and unique. And so knowing what they've been through and the opportunity for us to help them through those difficult circumstances is what gets me up in the morning. This is where they felt safe. This is where they felt the most loved. And, uh, but yet, when they came here, a lot of them didn't want to go back. Even though they, they still loved their parents and they loved their family and they loved their grandmas and grandpas, they didn't want to go back because they knew that as soon as they got back in that community, there was a chance that they could be negatively impacted. They could be influenced and they didn't want to go back in their old ways. And so over the years, what I have seen is I've seen children become responsible. 
I've seen children come to know God. And we see that through the alumni that come back five and 10 years later and, and look us in the eye and say, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably be in jail right now. And so we know that the work we're doing is, is being positive. I didn't know anything about the Florida Sheriff Boys Ranch until I started back in 2010 as the chaplain here. In my adult life, I have been in the, uh, the military for 10 years, the ministry for 14 years, and have been doing this for about 10 years. And in all of those occupations, this place, these people are some of the, 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 the nicest, the, the most generous, uh, the most willing to go above and beyond um, and humble people that I've ever met with. Our children grow up knowing that others care. And right now in this world, I think we need a little bit more of that.